Oh, right, playing for an audience now. Hmm. Paul, it's a good thing that your video is only, what, a minute and a half long? That you don't have a lot of commentary for me to respond to? Because, Michael, you and I have to have words. But first, let me explain why I apparently am drowning myself in quicksand. In fact, this is a secret passage that you can crawl under to basically bypass the entire stage and skip right to the end. However, that would be cheating, and I'm no cheater. Except when, you know, I feel like cheating. Now, I seem to have a problem entering doors. It's like some undiagnosed disability that I just keep slamming into the door frame and can't figure out why I'm not getting anywhere. It's something I'll try and fix uh, later on. Now, I was playing this game recently in Super Mario All-Stars, the collection with Mario 1, 2, 3, and the Lost Levels, which was actually the real Super Mario Bros. 2. Ooh, scary door. Whoa. And actually, I got to that scary door section in the Mario 2 remake. Oh, that would have been so nice to, you know, float left and right, pick up the cherries, you would have been all like, wow, that's impressive. Also impressive is the fact that the bombs and explosives can blow up sand in those jars. That's just really cool. Anything that blows up sand is okay in my book. But I digress. Now, Michael, I'll be getting to you in a second. But first, Super Mario All-Stars. So I think that uh, remake version is a little bit trickier than this version, for uh, this stage specifically. Now, maybe I was just doing some terribly wrong things, but... I, first of all, tried to go through that ooh, scary door I was just talking about, and the graphics are different in the remake, because it kind of looks more like some big stronghold fortress door. Oh, that was pretty cool. Uh, where you need to maybe blow it up with the bomb that's nearby, or maybe you need to use a potion to, or do something fancy or special, not just walk right in. I tried everything I could possibly think of. Absolutely nothing was working. I could not go through that door. So I said, all right, fine, I'll take the shortcut, and I tried to go under the sand, and I drowned in the quicksand. I tried multiple characters. None of them would fit through the secret passage, and I knew there was a secret passageway there. Eventually, I shrunk myself so I was small, and then I fit. But I just, I could not get through the stage. It was really frustrating, just like Michael's commentary in the last video he did. Michael, when you are talking about things that you don't entirely understand, there's two good ways that you can go about making your commentary without inciting fanboy rage in the people who are listening to you. Number one is you can just not talk about anything that you don't understand at all. The other thing that you can do is say, hey, I know that I don't entirely know what I'm talking about, or maybe I'm wrong here, or maybe I'm mistaken. That's okay, that helps to quell the fanboy rage. But Michael, I have never wanted to throw a vegetable at you so badly. Never before. Let me set a couple things straight, Michael. I'm not angry at you anymore. I just, I, I want to make sure that you're not misrepresenting things. But first, you know, I just want to point out that it's really fun to fly from one side of the screen to the next. I really enjoy it. Even though these beanstalks are really tricky to stay on and a little obnoxious because you keep falling off of them. Anyways, Michael. Look. You were talking about how Mario is a flat character who really is not all that interesting at all. And the tone of voice that you took, maybe I'm mistaken, but the tone of voice that you took makes it sound like you were responding to me, refuting my argument that Mario was an interesting character. That's not what I said at all. I said Luigi was interesting. Mario, I agree with you, is really kind of a boring character, so, you know, maybe I was just mistaking you there. Anyways, this is pretty nice here. Look at this. Whoa, that was close. Then, Princess Daisy. Princess Daisy is a real, actual princess. Super Mario Land for the old-school Game Boy? You know, the... Princess of Sarah, Sarah, Sarasa, Sarah Michelle Gellar Land? I don't remember exactly how you pronounce the name, but it's something like Sarah Sala Land or something like that. She's the princess there, and Mario rescues her. So, Daisy's a real character. Now, oh, and that, those clouds up there are where you come out at um, if you take the shortcut. Now, that's one thing cleared up. And, uh, also, Wario and Waluigi, admittedly, yes. Oh, that was fun, how the egg bounced off the mushroom block dude. Anyways, I digress again. Now, Waluigi, admittedly, is a character who was explicitly designed for the multiplayer Mario games, but Wario? Wario was the boss of Super Mario Land 2. Super Mario Land 2. He takes over Mario's castle. I'm, I'm up here trying to see, ah, uh, darn, if I could get the uh, heart before it floated off screen being above it, but eh, that didn't work. So, Wario is the boss of Super Mario Land 2. Takes over Mario's castle. You gotta get it back from him. Also, Wario Land... Wario Land 2, Wario Land... He, Wario has an entire line of video games all to himself, and you've never heard of them? Michael, really? Play your portable games. On top of that, Bowser. 
Now, in Super Mario Brothers, he was not called Bowser. He was just the King of the Koopas, or King Koopa. But if you read the instruction manual, which I'm sure you did if you know anything about Wart, because it doesn't say anywhere in the game that he hates vegetables. That's from other source material, unless you deduced it, in which case you should have deduced everything about Bowser in the first game. Manual says, he was the King of the Koopas who had this fancy turtle black magic that transformed the entire Mushroom Kingdom into bricks and stuff like that. And the princess was the only person with the power to transform them back. Bowser kidnapped the princess. It's in the manual. Michael, I'm sorry. This is okay that, you know, you don't know he's named Bowser, but there's a real story to what Bowser's doing. Don't make this stuff up, Michael. Okay?